Hey there, I'm Mastin Kip, founder of thedailylove.com and author of the book, Daily Love, Growing Into Grace, and welcome to Daily Love TV. So today what I wanna to talk about is romantic relationships, but specifically how to find a partner that will commit to you. You know, we get asked a lot, Mastin, you know, I meet lots of guys or lots of girls, but I'm having a hard time finding someone that will actually commit to me, that will actually show up and wanna be in a relationship. So. This is actually a simple fix. Now, everything that we teach here at Daily Love TV is simple, but it's not easy. So I wanna make that distinction. You know, it's a simple fix, but it's not an easy fix. And there's really only two reasons why you're not finding a partner that will commit to you. It's very simple. One, you don't value yourself at a level that you should. And two, you're not trusting yourself. Those are really the only two reasons why you find some, keep finding people that are not committing to you. What do I mean by that? Well. If you valued yourself, right, what type of partner would you choose? You know, I've met a lot of people that come to me and they go, Mastin, you know, I got this incredible partner. They're everything that I wanted. You know, the sex is amazing and I feel so spiritually connected to the person and we had the best conversations. I'm like, great, why are you calling me? Well, they're married. I go, to who? Well, to someone else. I'm like, what? And I think to myself, like, what are you talking about? Like, in your ideal soulmate, you know, wish list, <laughs> did it say married to someone else? And the answer is obviously no. But see, the thing is, this is a level of valuing yourself. And we all want love so bad. We all want that connection so bad that we'll settle, right? So the first thing is value yourself, right? Know what you're worth. And if you're dating someone who's either in a relationship with someone else or won't commit to you, stop dating them. You might have a connection with them, but it's not real love. It's not the love that you deserve. Ultimately, life is a reflection of your standards. And the more you raise your standards, the more you will rise along with them. So step number one is value yourself. And if there's, you're with someone who won't commit to you, peace out, move on to the next. Second, <clears throat> trusting yourself. I can't tell you how many times I've worked with clients that when they get into a relationship, make excitement, make mystery, make passion and romance more important than really seeing the person that they're with. And especially if you're the feminine partner, now feminine is not gender-based, right? We can have males and females who have feminine energy and males and females who have masculine energy. But if you're that feminine partner in the relationship, you know, did you feel safe? Do you feel safe in this person's presence? And most of the time with my feminine clients, you know, 95% of the people that uh, read The Daily Love are female, so this is a female-oriented, you know, conversation, but, you know, if you're a guy, listen up too, and this is for, you know, gay, straight, lesbian, doesn't matter. If you're that feminine partner, did you feel safe in that relationship? And, and most of the time, I can tell you from get-go, not date two or three or four, but like right away, mean that person, they didn't have that level of feeling safe. So they didn't trust themselves. You know, they made something else more important. Well, I don't wanna be alone. This is the last one that'll ever like me. Blah, 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 blah. And ultimately, you know, you find someone who won't commit to you. So if you're raising your standards, you're going, you know what? I wanna be with someone who commits to me. I wanna be with someone who, who, who sees my value. Well, people aren't gonna see your value until you see your value, right? Think about that. I mean, if you have low standards and you're gonna attract people who meet those low standards, but the second you raise your standards, man, completely blows your life apart and you gotta raise your standards and it can be scary because it means maybe you gotta be alone for a while. Maybe you gotta work on yourself for a while and that can be a scary thing for people to step into because we want that certainty of the relationship. But ultimately, if you want that true love, that love that someone's gonna show up, you gotta value yourself. So you gotta raise those standards. And then once you start getting to that dating pool and meeting people, really trust yourself, trust your intuition. And don't chase people because you, know, you think they're the only one that'll ever like you. you know, when the reality is in a relationship that's meant to be, you know, relationships are work, but there's a level of ease, there's a level of comfort that comes, level of safety that comes with really being with that right person. So ultimately, if you're with someone who's not committing to you, keep you know finding people who won't commit to you, you're violating these two rules. You're not valuing yourself the level that you should be and you're not trusting yourself. So my great wish for you after watching this video, well, what would life look like if you valued yourself? You know, what, what partners would you let go of or who would you no longer date? 
you know, and if, if you trusted yourself, you know, maybe there was someone in the past or someone that's there for you right now that makes you feel that level of safety and, and you could find and go towards that person. And maybe there's some people that you really need to let go of because really it's not that they're mysterious, they're just emotionally unavailable, which is not that fun. So if you valued yourself, if you trusted yourself, what would you do? Now you might be watching this video over on Facebook or on YouTube, but maybe head on over to thedaylove.com and, and below this blog, you know, leave a comment and let me know how are you valuing and trusting yourself previously and how is that going to change now that you have this information? You can't say that no one told you so. So in the comments below over at thedaylove.com, leave a comment, let me know, join in the conversation. There might be a huge aha down there for you. And most importantly, and as always here at Dale Love TV, get out there, take action, and make it real. I'll see you next time. Can you believe it? My new book, Daily Love, Growing Into Grace, is out September 9th. I can't wait to share it with you. To check out all the information on how to pre-order and order the book, head on over to growingintograce.com for all the information.